Hey guys, how you doing? So between Java and C Sharp, what would be my top choice? I would go with C Sharp for a few different reasons. So number one, I think that C Sharp is a more versatile language. Well, that's the primary reason. Why do I say it's more versatile? Don't get me wrong, with Java and C Sharp, you have multiple use cases, meaning you can, do, you can do many different things with each of these languages. But I think that overall, when you look at it, C Sharp is far more flexible in the real world, whereas Java nowadays, though you can do game, though you can do mobile, though you do uh, server, it's mostly an enterprise level server side language these days. So for example, Android development, if you're going to do Android development these days, you're going to be using Kotlin. Even Google, right, who, who owns Android essentially, well, they own Android. They recommend Kotlin over Java because Kotlin is just much more uh, nimble. Anyway, so let's look at C Sharp's versatility relative to Java. And so you have an idea of why I say if I was choosing between C Sharp or Java, I would go with C Sharp today, even though you're looking at one of the original Java nerds. Game development. So C Sharp, you have this Unity platform, which is very dominant in terms of indie games and mobile games. So we're talking even AAA titles. Yeah, you can build games with Java, but fact of the matter is with Unity and C Sharp, it's just a much better platform for game development. That's for sure. Web development. You got ASP.NET Core, uh, where you can create web applications and API. This is where Java can compete, I would imagine, head to head with uh, C Sharp. .NET versus Java Web with Spring Boot, for example. Um, so yeah, you can do that with C Sharp. Another thing you can do with C Sharp, which more difficult with Java again, is uh, desktop applications uh, via WinForms, etc. So you can develop uh, for Microsoft for Windows, which is the dominant operating system. You can develop desktop applications pretty quickly and pretty easily with C Sharp. Yeah, you can do with Java again. It's just a lot easier, I think with C Sharp. Mobile, mobile development. Again, um, so in the C Sharp world, you got Xamarin. I think that's been uh, deprecated. They got a new framework, uh, .NET. I can never save it, so I'm just going to spell it. M-A-U-I, Maui, for cross, cross-platform mobile apps. Again, C Sharp will not be my, chop, chop, my top choice for mobile app development, but I think, again, it's still a better choice than Java. Again, we're comparing Java versus C-sharp. And uh, of course, you got cloud integration with Microsoft Azure platform for cloud-based projects. In all honesty, I don't know what Java's cloud um, Im implementations are. I, I would imagine they're pretty robust with Oracle behind it. So I will say that's a push, meaning when you're talking about cloud, you're talking about back-end uh, server-side development. I think Java and C Sharp are probably neck in neck. But again, we're talking about versatility here between languages. So you look at game development. You look at uh, desktop applications. This is where C Sharp really sails ahead of Java. So for me, if I had to choose, again, between Java and C Sharp, um, I would go with C Sharp because of that flexibility, because you got the game development, because you got the desktop app opportunity. Um, and in terms of mobile, et cetera, I think in those areas, neck and neck with Java, but I think you got that added flexibility with C Sharp. And of course, C Sharp, very modern language, very cool language. So, so Java is too, you know, they really modernize it with the latest versions of Java, but you don't have that extra level of flexibility with the game development and the, uh, of course, uh, the Windows desktop application development. Although, who's doing desktop apps? It's kind of a, a rare, a rarefied thing, I would imagine. So there you go. Those are my, uh, my main points between the two languages. I'm Uncle Steph. I've been a software developer since the 1990s. I've written commercial, commercial software in many different languages over the years, and I'm a pretty much language agnostic. So even though in this video I'm talking about what I would choose between the two, and I'm not like uh, married to any particular language. You shouldn't be either. As a professional developer, you should look at yourself as, uh, you should look at the languages rather as tools that you can leverage. Sometimes you're going to use C Sharp. Sometimes you're going to use JavaScript. Sometimes you're going to use Java. You're never going to use Ruby. 
And uh, PHP is also a strong choice, of course, you know, JavaScript. So anyway, there you go. That's it. I mentor people in software development from ultra beginners with my interactive training courses, which are unique because it's my own platform. And I also mentor people who are very experienced, people who want to start businesses, who want to go freelance, etc. So I cover both ends. All right, that's it. If you disagree with anything I talk about in this video, you let me know. If you think I'm letting my hair grow out too long, give me two thumbs down. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Cheers.